What's up everybody? Tiffany Outdoors here today. Got another furniture project. This cute little nightstand that I have behind me. I paid uh, $15 for this. Uh, I think it's an Ikea nightstand. Not sure. Looks like one, but it's cute, but it has a couple issues. Not major ones, but it has some that I haven't dealt with yet. Not on this level. It's got some uh, missing laminate. This is like one of those little pressed wood laminate tops. And it's got some missing laminate there with the little pressed wood coming through. It's got a, let's see if I can get this to show up. There we go. A big bubble. It's got that and a big bubble there. Looked like some moisture got into it and just kind of swelled up. And this drawer it just when it's on level ground or what I think is level ground it just slides open so may need to take a look at that but um first things first I'm gonna take off first I'm gonna take off this drawer to see if there's any adjustments that I can do to the drawer slides this one has the drawer slides on the side you have a cute little knob of course I'll be repainting that cleaning that up painting it all right let's get started the hawk before there was a tiffany outdoors there was tiffany the farmer Are you turn when possible no we're not you turn hi <laughs> hi what are you doing All right, I see that on the bottom of the legs, one of the felt um, felt pads on the bottom, one of those is missing, and that could be part of the issue with it tilting forward and the drawer sliding, just free sliding. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and do what I do. I'm gonna wash this down with some Dawn soap very thoroughly, and then wipe it clean with some clean fresh water, no soap, and then let it dry. Bucket of soapy water here. Just, uh, get this nice and clean. All right. Anytime you wash furniture like this with water, you have to give it time to dry. So I'm going to let this dry overnight for 24 hours. I'm going to come back tomorrow, and then we'll start sanding it. All right, y'all, it's time to sand this thing down. I'm going to start off with a 120-grit sanding pad. I'm going to go over this with my orbital sander and see if I can get these little lumps and bumps out. Got that big one there, that one there, and the top needs some work. We're going to see if I can't get this all nice and smooth. Let's 
So a lot of this paint on the legs is cracking and peeling. You got to get that off. Or else your paint's not going to adhere to it properly. Let me show you what I mean. Let's see. I'm trying to get it. It's wanting to focus on the background. <laughs> oh goodness, he's so adorable. Alright, you see that chip? This chip down here at the bottom that's chipped out. And there's like some little cracks along there too. And that's the paint chipping off. You gotta get that off. Any any signs of that, you gotta sand that down. Alright, I'm gonna continue on. The sanding is all done, and as I was sanding this and moving this around, I noticed that these legs are really loose this whole side so I'm thinking that these little cams down here are gonna tighten these legs up if I turn them so let me go get a screwdriver and see what we got going on let's see here yep that's exactly what it was so a lot of this furniture there we go. It's put together by these little cams. And all you gotta do is give it a little twist, a quarter turn, and locks it in place. All right. So as I was sanding these, the legs are made out of real wood. It's the the top, the top shelf in this, and probably the the aprons and all that are are fake. It's all that pressed wood stuff. But this table is now ready to be wiped down and I'll show you the spots that I had to sand down to get them nice and smooth so that right there is nice and smooth it looks bad but it is smooth and that's that's the important thing is you need it to be smooth and no cracking paint same with the top that right there nice and smooth I can't feel any difference the only thing I can feel is the um, there's no paint there but it's all smooth gotta have it smooth all right now time to wipe this down got some plain water and I'm going to wring out my cloth as much as I can I don't want this wet I just want it wiped down Look at all that white sanding dust. You gotta wipe that off. You don't want to paint over that. Paint won't stick to that. If you get to a point where your paint is starting to crack and you can't figure out why, most likely it's because your, your base was dirty or had dust or something on it. I'm going to let this dry for about 10-15 minutes and in the meantime I'm going to go ahead and um, put this stuff away, clean up my sander, get that put away, get this rinsed out. While that's drying I could be doing other stuff. Alright, I'm also going to turn my attention to the knob. I'm going to be painting it uh, satin black. It's what I have on hand. Thought the black would look good with the color I'm going to paint this. If I haven't said it already, I'm going to paint this table red. <laughs> oh, he's so tiny. He sounds so cute. <laughs> now I'm going to turn my attention to taping this off. I'm going to tape off the drawer because I don't want spray paint on the sides. 
and I'm going to tape off the inside of there because um, I don't want that painted I don't think uh, maybe I will paint it I'll just tape off the brackets there but I will tape off the whole drawer except for the top or the facing front and the sides and uh, yeah I'll just tape off the, um, the brackets here all right y'all this is my test I know that chalk paint can be very expensive. It's $20, 20 to $29 for just a small, small can of it. So I want to try this Waverly chalk paint from Walmart. Now this one was either seven or eight bucks and the color is called Crimson and it's going to be a matte finish. It says no prep acrylic paint. So. I hope I hope this works really well um can I spray that out of my sprayer though hold on let me google something okay yes I can acrylic paint is water-based so we're good to go on that all right let's see how is this okay it's got a nice little seal here sometimes you never know if the paint is like open right there go get something Oh, birds are singing. Oh boy. Of course I don't bring any paper towels over. Now I shook this up really good yesterday, so the bubbles should be all settled and all that. I'm just going to pour it right on in. And I'm going to add some water to this. This isn't as thick as regular chalk paint, but it's still pretty thick. So I'm just going to add a drop or two of water. There we go. Let's see where that gets us. That's why a lot of people love to use chalk paint because it's so thick. And it covers things very well. You don't have to do a whole lot of prep to your work surface. Unless there's damage to it, like how mine is. Or was. Okay, that's looking pretty good. Get that there. Way to slosh it, Tiff. All right, y'all, so you see that spot right there? I got it way zoomed in. That spot right there is where I sanded the, the finish down. And every spot that I had to sand, look, there you can see it even better there, went down into, that, uh, into the base and what you would call the substrate. Of this this right here is the bottom shelf 
you see right there in the middle of the screen it doesn't show up very well on camera but looking at it it is very very noticeable yeah that's right in there is super duper noticeable and I'm not quite sure what to do about it there's a dark spot right there in the middle of the camera now um, and there's quite a few of those sections there I'm gonna try sanding it and see what I can what I can do about that let's let me try sanding it and see what happens I'll try the sanding sponge and see see what it does Ooh, left a light spot now. I wonder if I should have um, primed this first. Maybe I should have primed it. Oh, this here. It looks, it looks terrible. I may have to go to the drawing board on this one. I think what I'll do is sand this down all the all the spots that that's all raised up I'm gonna go over it with this sanding sponge then I'm gonna put some primer which I probably should have done from the get-go and then do this again because y'all it is really noticeable like I said it doesn't show up on camera but in person you can see it very plainly yeah maybe now that there's a layer of paint it won't uh, it won't be like that hmm I don't know what to do Okay, y'all, I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna wipe off the sanding dust. Let's do my second layer of paint. And if the second layer looks bad, then I'll sand it back down, use a primer, and then go from there. Y'all, the second the second coat of paint did not work and I'm gonna let this dry completely I'm gonna come out tomorrow I'm gonna sand that top down and that top sand it down completely put a coat of primer on it and then repaint it all right y'all this thing has dried and I don't see any signs at least not right right where I'm standing here I cannot see those defects at all on either shelf so I think I think I'm good to go um, I'm gonna go ahead and put a top coat on this I'm going to use um, polycrylic um, clear what am I using clear gloss I want to put a clear gloss coat top coat on this and keep it moving Clear gloss polycrylic by Minwax. So far, this has been the one that I've used the most. All been polycrylic, polycrylic matte. I really like, I really like the finish that it puts on furniture. All right, first layer has dried. I'm going to sand this down very lightly with some 220. Grit sandpaper, wipe it down, and go over it with the second coat. All right, y'all, I still haven't figured out how to get a smooth finish with no bubbles in it. Um, it still has like raised areas and bubbles. I'm gonna go over this with some 320 grit sandpaper and then wipe it down and see how smooth that is. And maybe I should try it out of a spray can? Some spray foam, Polly? I don't know. Is this like, it's not smooth. I want it to be nice and slick and smooth. Haven't figured that out yet. But I'm going to take some of this 320, go over this till it's smooth, and see what I get from that. 
going to try some of this Min Wax, Min Wax Wipe On Poly. Um, I've not tried this stuff before, and I'm not sure how it's going to do on top of the polycrylic. But I have sanded it down and gotten the surface nice and smooth. And only one way to find out if this is going to work, and that's to go ahead and do it. Oh, yeah, that goes all nice and smooth like. Wow, I really like the way that's looking so far. All right, I'm going to let that dry and then put on a couple more coats and see what we got from there. All right, y'all, I think the Wipe On Poly is going to be a new go-to for me. I really love the finish that it put on here. Nice and shiny. I painted it black and then I, I coated it with some lacquer just to keep the black paint from chipping off. All right, y'all, that's it for this little red table. It's going in my house. I'm not quite sure where yet, but it came out nice. I hope you guys like it. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.